Phase 1 News, Sunrise. Making headlines on Long Island at this hour, three teens are behind bars this morning for allegedly raping a 14-year-old girl. We'll tell you where this shocking incident took place and why some are comparing it to the Hofstra University false rape case. Plus, an arrest is made in the death of a mastic woman. We'll fill you in on the man's relationship with that woman straight ahead. And it was a huge win for the Bronx Bombers last night. We've got all the incredible highlights coming up in sports. That is the very latest the Fios One News Flash. Good morning and thanks for starting your Wednesday with Fios One Sunrise. I'm Stone Grissom. Our top story this half hour, three Suffolk teens are charged with raping a 14-year-old girl in a mastic home. The trio were arrested Monday afternoon, shortly after the alleged attack. Now, police say the girl knew the defendants, but otherwise declined to provide details about the attack. Now, the three teens claimed the sex was consensual. The girl told her mother about the alleged attack. Then her mother called the police. All the teens, ages 16 to 18, have pled not guilty to the rape charge. Well, a lawyer for one of the suspects urged the public not to rush to judgment, making reference to that recent case at Hofstra University where a female student lied about being gang raped, resulting in the false arrest of four young men. Suffolk police have arrested a man on murder charges in the fatal stabbing of a 25-year-old woman with whom he had a romantic relationship. 42-year-old Gunter Windy is charged with second-degree murder in Laura Pazzini's death. Now, Pazzini's body was found Friday by a relative who went to her apartment in Mastic to check on her welfare. Police say Windy had a brief relationship with Pazzini in July and was just not willing to let the relationship end after she had moved on. A home in Port Jefferson Station was the site of a home invasion last night. It happened at Beach Avenue and Canal Road. Now, police say three men wearing masks stole over $700 in cash. They are asking anyone with information on this robbery to call Crime Stoppers. Nassau police are investigating two very similar robberies this morning. One happened in Massapequa Park, the other in North Belmore. They say a man posed as a county surveyor wearing a blue cap that actually said county on it. He then knocked on the door of an 83-year-old woman's home. He told her he needed to survey the neighbor's fence. Well, while in the backyard, someone went inside and stole jewelry. Another similar incident happened in North Belmore. An 88-year-old man was approached by a man of the same description wearing the exact same type of hat. Only this time his wife asked to see some ID. Their home also had jewelry stolen from it. Police are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. It's a toll-free number, 1-800-244-TIPS. An East Northport man is charged with sexual assault after he allegedly fondled a fellow patient at a drug treatment center in Hampton Bays. 34-year-old Ralph Delacour is charged with third-degree aggravated sexual assault and sexual misconduct. Now, Southampton Town Police say the unidentified woman told them she was fondled in a laundry room. Meanwhile, a Flanders man who was a passenger in a car stopped by state police is under arrest after he yelled obscenities at troopers, then bumped one of them in the chest with his elbow. It happened just after midnight on Saturday. Two troopers on Route 24 in Southampton noticed a broken taillight on a 1993 Chevrolet and pulled the car over. Well, as the troopers tried to interview the driver, they say 34-year-old Kevin Smith started yelling at them. He then got out of the car and hit a trooper in the chest with his elbow. Smith is charged with obstructing governmental administration, resisting arrest, and disorderly conduct. Meanwhile, Suffolk police are asking for your help this morning in finding a robber on the loose who targeted a business in the Brentwood Central Islip and Bayshore areas. It happened between May and September. Now take a look at this surveillance photo that was just released to us. Take a good look at it. The robber has targeted Machito multi-services primarily at closing time. Now the thief enters the building, flashes either a knife or a gun, demanding cash. Now that robber has stolen over $12,000 in cash in the course of five robberies. If you have any information about this crime, you can call Crime Stoppers. Toll-free number 1-800-220-TIPS. 
All right, good Wednesday morning. Time for Forecast on the Five Star Chat with the numbers this morning, which are into the 40s. A nice morning. Look at Patchogue, about 47 degrees. It's going to feel much milder as you walk uh, on outside. In fact, notice uh, 56 out in Glencoe, 51 Uniondale. So these temperatures feel pretty good out there this morning. Just a little chilly, but that's going to be the launching pad for close to 70 degrees later today. Satellite picture, a few hot clouds kind of wisping on by. Very tranquil weather for much of the 95 Strip. We're going to see a lot of sunshine for the afternoon hours. Clouds still well to the north, and that'll remain towards our north and west. So Stormview 3D, nothing really happening. Some showers north of Bi Buffalo uh, up into portions of the UP and Michigan. Big time storm system just to the west of Kansas City, giving some snows back across north of Albuquerque. That storm system is going to start to push its way into our area as we head into Friday and Friday night, maybe even into Saturday as we'll see the clouds inc increase Friday and then the showers, maybe a thunderstorm for Saturday, more so for Saturday morning. We'll show you that the five day forecast in just a little bit. Short term forecast into the 60s today will pop probably 70 degrees in some isolated uh, locations in Nassau County. And for today, 42 or for tonight, 42 to about 58 across the island. We'll talk more about your forecast that's coming up in 10 minutes. Stone, we'll send it back over to you. With less than two weeks left in the mosquito season, this year's first West Nile case on Long Island has been confirmed. This year's sole case is a West Babylon man between 65 and 75 years old who became ill back in September. Now He was hospitalized for three weeks and is now recovering in a nursing home. The Suffolk Health Department says the man had been very sick and his recovery will take some time. Now, so far, there have been no reported human cases of West Nile virus in Nassau County. Statewide, there have been a total of five confirmed cases, according to the State Department of Health. As the school year and flu season progresses, Long Island school districts are going beyond hand sanitizers to take some precautions against the bug. Several districts, including North Shore, Hopog, and Middle County, have suspended perfect attendance awards in hopes that feverish children won't feel pressured to come to school to earn the honor. In Hopog, the award has been stopped for elementary students, but not at the middle and high schools. At the 100-student Oyster Ponds District in Orient, the school's three water fountains have been replaced with water coolers in an effort to combat H1N1. While students in Brentwood School District are told not to share food or drinks in the cafeteria. While so far this fall swine flu on Long Island appears to be low, this week the Comac District sent out messages to parents alerting them to three possible cases of H1N1 among its students. And meanwhile, most Long Island hospitals are not right now restricting visitors to limit the spread of H1N1 flu. The reason? Well, they're not seeing a spike yet in the numbers of people with flu-like symptoms. Nassau University Medical Center in East Meadows says within the past month, it had begun limiting visitors in the maternity and neonatal units because of H1N1. Now, they allow only adults and children over the age of 12 in the maternity unit and only adults in the neonatal unit. Still to come on Verizon's Files 1 Sunrise, an angry judge sends the former New York City Police Commissioner to jail during a hearing for corruption charges. We'll tell you what happened. Plus, an imam at a Queens mosque is indicted in connection with that plot to blow up locations in New York City. The details are still ahead. And a huge win for the Yanks. We've got the highlights and reaction from the heavy hitter himself, A-Rod, plus manager Joe Girardi. It's all coming up in sports. Good Wednesday morning to you. Time to get a check of your roads and our Beat the Traffic report. Starting off here in Center Reach, Middle Country Road, headed eastbound between Forest Ave and Howell Ave. You got some construction here with the left lane blocked till about 6 o'clock. Seeing some slow speeds there, less than 30 miles an hour. But again, it should be hopefully clearing by 6 o'clock there. We'll head on down to the LIE eastbound between Route 110 and Bagatelle Road. It's closed with construction till about 6 o'clock so far. Not really affecting your roadways though, speeds more than 40 miles an hour in both directions. Seaford Oyster Bay Expressway here, more of the same in both directions between 107 and the Southern State. Two lanes blocked till about 6 o'clock there with construction. And then the Northern State here, eastbound between 106 and 107, South Oyster Bay Road. Construction in the process of clearing as well, but good news, lots of green on your screen. Speeds more than 40 miles an hour in the area. Now as for your cross on Parkway northbound, 
Got some construction here between Northern Boulevard and the Clearview. Two lanes in the process of clearing, but again, looking pretty good northbound and southbound. And the LIE continues to move well eastbound and westbound throughout the area. Now, as for your mass transit, all your trains and buses running on or close to schedule. Let's check your traffic across Long Island. Fios 1 News, we'll be right back. Brought to you by South Shore Honda on West Merrick Road in Valley Stream. It pays to get it right. And at South Shore Honda, it pays very well. Get to South Shore Honda now, where you'll get the right car at the right price right now. South Shore Honda has a huge selection of new Hondas. Right car, right price, right now. South Shore Honda has a great selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. Right car, right price, right now. Now's a great time to get the right car at the right price right now. Get to South Shore Honda today on Merrick Road and Valley Stream. Online at SouthShoreHonda.com. Nassau finances are a disaster. Taxes are unaffordable because of controller Howard Weitzman. Phony budgets, increased deficits, drained reserve funds. We need new leadership. We need George Maragos. Finance MBA, 35 years in business. George Maragos will say no to higher taxes and wasteful spending. We need to lower taxes and make Nassau affordable. Elect George Maragos, Nassau County Controller. Files One News is sponsored by Stony Brook University Sea Wolves Hockey, the best college hockey program on Long Island. Visit their website at stonybrookhockey.com. Direct from Verizon Files One Sports, it's Hofstra football. Intercepted. This is no, your chance to see the pride He's take the field. It's a touchdown for Hofstra. With hard-hitting returning players on both sides of the ball. The two-yard line. They're looking to make 2009 their time to shine. The Hofstra pride. See all the action as the University of New Hampshire comes to town. Live Saturday at 3 on Channel 1. Verizon Files 1. Bringing you the world outside your door. Back. A federal judge has revoked bail for former New York City Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick and sent him to jail to await trial on corruption charges. The judge said yesterday he was revoking the $500,000 bail because Carrick disclosed case information that had been sealed to the trustee of his legal defense fund. The trustee then shared some of the secret information with a newspaper. Now, the information was not published. Carrick is accused of accepting apartment renovations from a construction company in exchange for recommending the company for city contracts. He has pled not guilty to the charges. Meanwhile, an imam at a Queens mosque has been indicted on charges that he lied to federal agents about an Afghan immigrant who was later charged with plotting a bomb attack in New York City. The investigation that led to the indictment of Ahmad Afzali was revealed after a series of terror raids in Queens this summer. Police were looking for evidence after suspected terror plotter Najibullah Zazi visited New York from his home in Colorado. Now, Afzali is accused of tipping him off after NYPD investigators contacted the Iman. The coach of the Yukon Huskies football team is defending his players in the wake of the stabbing death of their teammate, Jasper Howard, outside a campus party early Sunday. Coach Randy Edsel said yesterday that there may have been some verbal jostling involving his players, but that he's heard nothing to indicate any of them were actually fighting. Police say another player was also stabbed, though not seriously. A Hartford lawyer says his client was fighting with several football players before the stabbing and expects him to be arrested. Now, so far, no one's been charged in the case. Meanwhile, the team will dedicate the rest of the season to Howard. His parents say he considered the Huskies his second family. Two weeks ahead of Election Day, President Obama played fundraiser-in-chief, stumping at a dinner in New York City. It was attended by some members of the financial industry he has vowed to regulate more closely. Speaking to donors who paid $30,000 per couple, Obama asked the financial industry to support changes he says would help prevent another economic crisis. He also defended the $700 billion financial bailout as the right thing to do. He now wants smaller community banks to have greater access to bailout money in order to help small businesses still suffering from that credit crunch. And Democrats say they're cutting the cost of their proposed health care bill from more than a trillion dollars over 10 years to $871 billion. 
It's an effort to win Republican support. Now, yesterday's announcement by House Democrats came as Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid continued his appeal to Republican senators for support of health care legislation. But Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said yesterday that his Republican colleagues are still unlikely to support Democratic legislation. Today, Reid and fellow Democrats will announce a proposal to strip health care insurance companies of their antitrust exemption in order to encourage competition in the industry. All right, Wednesday morning time for forecast on the 566 today in Islip. A great looking day will be about three degrees from the normal number. 45 so far the morning low, so a nice recovery into the upper 60s, and I think we'll crank the isolated 70 degree mark. More so for Nassau County, and then by Thursday, I think everyone's going to get into that 70 degree mark. Clouds to the south, of, uh, north of us, lots of sunshine to the south, and that's going to be the trend for the next couple of days. You can see the satellite and radar, just a few clouds zipping over portions of New England. Some more showers over portions of the UP of Michigan, that's going to slide just to our north and west. So we're pretty tranquil back closer to home. By Friday, though, Friday night into Saturday, we could be dealing with a little bit in the way of some showers. Look at the morning lows down into Dallas, Fort Worth, 68 degrees. This warm pocket air continuing to advect into our area. We do have a high pressure system to the south, and that's going to give us that southwesterly flow. So very tranquil for the next couple of days. Future case shows that very nicely. Just a few clouds zipping on by. There's the showers well to the north. Clouds on the increase more so for Friday, though, and then Friday night, we'll watch that system start to push into our area. So we'll talk more about your forecast coming up in just a little bit. And the five-day boards, that's in 10 minutes. Stone? We have a lot more coming up on Files 1 Sunrise, including the latest on what's being done about the school lunch program. That's coming up next in your health report. Files 1 News, it's only on Verizon. This program is brought to you by Royal Consultants. This is a Royal Consultants update. Attention homeowners, interest rates are at a 30-year low. Now is the time to refinance your high or adjustable rate mortgage. Royal Consultants, a leader in the mortgage industry since 1983, can help you. Whether your credit is good or less than perfect, Royal Consultants will tailor a mortgage to meet your specific needs. Even if you are self-employed or have been previously turned down, give Royal Consultants a call. If you are looking to purchase a new home or refinance your present mortgage, Royal Consultants is now offering low fixed rate government insured FHA mortgages. With over 26 years of experience, Royal is here with the answers to all of your mortgage needs. Call now for a free consultation and rate quote. Don't delay, call today. Our very knowledgeable and caring mortgage specialists are standing by. Royal Consultants is your total loan solution. Call 1-800-508-3549 now. The mailbox and the traffic light. Both are ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support the United Negro College Fund because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Bringing you the world outside your door. Now welcome back. Well, 83% of private and public schools use the National School Lunch Program to plan student meals. But the standards guiding these meal plans have not been updated since 1995. Well, to bring school lunches up to date, the Institute of Medicine has released new guidelines for providing delicious and nutritious school meals. More now in today's Medical Minute. 99% of public schools design their meal plans based on the National School Lunch Program, and 83% of all schools in the U.S. use it. Well, considering the nutritional standards guiding this program have not been updated since 1995, the Institute of Medicine decided to create new guidelines that would bring school meals up to date and incorporate new advancements in our understanding of proper nutrition for kids. In the Institute's report, researchers call for more fruit at breakfast, including whole fruit and less juice, more whole grain rich foods. The report suggests offering only skim, or 1% milk to kids, and using limited amounts of unsaturated oils in cooking. Overall, the report emphasizes the need for fresh fruit and vegetables, fewer refined carbohydrates, and less fat, and offers suggestions for how to put these changes into place so that schools can offer both nutritious and delicious options for students. 
Still ahead, we're just a few minutes away from another forecast on the fives. Weather every 10 minutes, guaranteed. Plus, a World Series berth one game away. Coming up, highlights of last night's Yankees game. Plus, we will preview Thursday's matchup. That's coming up next in sports. Good Wednesday morning to you. Time to get a check of your roads and our Beat the Traffic report starting off here in Center Reach, Middle Country Road, headed eastbound between Forest Ave and Howell Ave. you got some construction here with the left lane blocked till about 6 o'clock, seeing some slow speeds there, less than 30 miles an hour, but again, it should be hopefully clearing by 6 o'clock there. We'll head on down to the LIE eastbound between Route 110 and Bagatelle Road. It's closed with construction till about 6 o'clock so far. Not really affecting your roadways though, speeds more than 40 miles an hour in both directions. Seaford Oyster Bay Expressway here, more of the same in both directions between 107 and the Southern State. Two lanes blocked till about 6 o'clock there with construction. And then the Northern State here, eastbound between 106 and 107, South Oyster Bay Road. Construction in the process of clearing as well, but good news, lots of green on your screen. Speeds more than 40 miles an hour in the area. Now as for your cross on Parkway northbound, Got some construction here between Northern Boulevard and the Clearview. Two lanes in the process of clearing, but again, looking pretty good northbound and southbound. And the LIE continues to move well eastbound and westbound throughout the area. Now, as for your mass transit, all your trains and buses running on or close to schedule. Let's check your traffic across Long Island. Fios 1 News, we'll be right back. Sponsored by Gregoras Subaru in Valley Stream. Performance. Demand it in what you drive. Expect it from where you buy. No one outperforms Gregorus Subaru in Valley Stream. Not on price, not on service, not on selection. Drive the all-new, completely redesigned 2010 Subaru Legacy or Outback. In stock now at Gregorus Subaru. Experience what true performance is all about at Gregorus Subaru in Valley Stream. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. You're tempted to turn up the thermostat at home until you remembered how much they cost. What if you could save hundreds of dollars on heating oil with a simple phone call? Just call 866-OIL-DEAL and start saving today. As the leader in home heating oil, Slomans does what it takes to keep you happy. Family owned and operated for 85 years, Slomans offers affordable pricing options, expertly trained mechanics, and service 24 hours a day. A warmer day is one phone call away with Slomans. Call 866-OIL-DEAL today. Do you need cash? Turn unwanted gold, diamonds, and jewelry into cash at Jenna's Jewelers. Jenna's Jewelers pays top dollar for gold, diamonds, and jewelry. Don't wait. Turn unwanted jewelry into cash. Jenna's Jewelers, Deer Hills Plaza, Deer Park Avenue, Deer Park, 631-254-6033. Bringing you the world outside your door. Bios 1 Sports. Time now for the fun stuff. Well, the Yankees just one game away from stepping onto the big boy diamond in the World Series. The Yanks dominated last night in game four. CC Sabathia was on a short turnaround, but you would have never known it. Eight innings, that left-hander threw 101 pitches, 69 for strikes. That man, safe. The offense was led by the new Mr. October himself, Alex Rodriguez. A-Rod hit two home runs, scored three runs. Final score, Yankees 10, Angels. Say it with me, folks. Only one. He's a great player. I think it's plain and simple. Um, he's been a great player for a long time, and, and he's in a zone right now. He's locked in. Every at-bat is a good at-bat. In other postseasons, I failed and, you know, sometimes failed miserably. And uh, it certainly feels good to, to come through for my team and, uh, you know, help the team win. Well, the Yankees have a commanding 3-1 series lead and can clinch a World Series berth tomorrow. A.J. Burnett will get the start. If they win, it will be their first since 2003, but 40th in team history. First pitch will be 757. Well, to the National League, where the Phillies are also one game away from the World Series. Here we go. They can move on tonight with a win. Philadelphia has a 3-1 series lead over the Dodgers. If the Phillies hold on to the lead, it will be their second straight World Series appearance. Tonight's game will start at 8.07. Moving to the NBA where the Knicks took on the Boston Celtics in a little preseason action. Well, the Knicks would win this game, but it went down to the wire. 
Get those highlights. Here we go. Nate Robinson scored 21 points. Al Harrington added 20, including the tie-breaking three-pointer with just one minute, 23 seconds left. Look at that. That's a layup. Knicks pull off the win. Final score here, Knicks 108, Boston 103. Meanwhile, locked out referees in the NBA could be settling their contract dispute. People close with the negotiations tell the Associated Press the referees could vote on a new proposal by the end of the week. Now, if approved, the regular refs could be back on the court by the start of the regular season, which is next Tuesday. The contract for referees expired on September 1st. All right, forecast on the fives time. A great looking day setting up whether we live Lindenhurst back to Freeport. Temperatures into the middle 60s. We'll see a southeasterly wind, so that will keep it a little bit cooler for the south shore. North shore, I think we're cranking to nearing that 70 degree mark. Milneck out to Northport as we head into Calverton. 70 degrees today. Rocky Point 69, southeastern shoreline into Quag. Double six is Brookhaven, 66 degrees. So a lot of sunshine out there. Temperatures tonight. Not that cool, 42 to the 50 degree mark and upper 50s for Glen Cove. So a good feeling night out there and take a look at the five day forecast. We're up to the, into the 70s for Thursday, 72 the projected high for Islip. I think we could crank to about 75 for Nassau County. Then it cools down for Friday. The clouds in the increase during the afternoon hours. We'll see that northeasterly wind, 57 degrees. It turns windy and wet for Saturday. But that's just a short duration period of about 62 degrees. Then the sunshine comes out to finish the weekend. Sunday, 61 degrees. Monday, 60. Lots of sunshine. You're at the door forecast coming up next. Files for News will be right back. Thanks to John Venditto and his Republican colleagues, the town of Oyster Bay remains a nice, affordable place to live. Unlike Nassau County, where Democrats have driven taxes out of sight and services into the ground, John Venditto and the Republicans are doing it right. With your support, we will continue to hold the line on taxes and make the town of Oyster Bay an even better place to live and raise a family. Re-elect John Venditto and the entire Oyster Bay Republican team. Final check of the forecast, a lot of sunshine out there, stone temperature 61 to 65, heading home. We are cranking the 70 degree mark. We're actually going above normal for a change, 65 the norm. We're going to go for 71. As I said, tomorrow we'll be into the middle 70s, so it's going to feel great mm -hmm. out there. And last night, great game. Great maybe. game, yep, and then we have one coming up Thursday. Have one coming up, and then we probably have, what, the Phillies and Yankees? And then maybe the Phillies and the Yankees. I know Ken loves the Phillies, but yeah. uh, not me so yeah, much. The so. Yankees can take them. <laughs> All right, thanks. Well, that's going to do it for this half hour, but stay tuned. You're just two minutes away for more updated news, weather, and traffic as Files 1 Sunrise rolls on.